Granny so big. Oh my god, it's gonna look like Chola the Chocha or whatever her name is. Show the sideways. Smack it, smack it in the air. Smack it, smack it in the air. Legs move it side to side. Smack it, smack it in the air. Smack it, smack it in the air. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this look. So if you like to see that, then just keep watching. Start off with the Benefit Professional. Oh, you can't even see that. But yeah. Just putting that. Um, mainly around my nose. And like, in between my eyebrows. Just packing that on. <laughs> no, but just blend it in. I'm just going to take this um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation and it is a little bit too dark for me but I'm just going to go ahead and use it for the sake of this video. Take my brush and this is a Coastal Scents brush I think. I just got it because it was on sale and it's actually really good. Now do you see how this is a little bit too dark? Just a tad. Blend it all. And I have to work in sections since this is a matte foundation and I do have dry skin. In there, really good. And do very little. I already said that, but yeah, doing little sections. forget to run it down your neck to blend it wow I kind of look like the homeless person right now in this shirt but it's just an oversized shirt they're the most comfortable thing ever for concealer I'm going to be using this ready set gorgeous concealer and I don't know what shade it's in because it doesn't say on the bottle but it's a pretty light shade because I'm actually kind of like white right now so yeah I'm just gonna Put that in a triangle shape. What, what the heck? <laughs> now I'm going to blend that in with the e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush. I absolutely love this brush. It's just like the perfect size and it's so like, I don't know, it's only $3. So I recommend y'all go and get getting it because it's really good. And I'm looking over here because that's where the mirror is. That's where I have a mirror. And I like to make sure that I blend it out really good. And this concealer is not too thick, but it's not like too watery. And I like that about it. Like, it just goes on so smooth. I don't know. I just really like it. I highly recommend I'm it. I'm going to go in with the um, Clinique Press Powder. And I'm just going to dab that on my nose and under my eyes. I'm just going to really press that in there. Now for brows, I'm just going to take this um, Rimmel Brow Pencil in dark brown and it is like I should have got the black brown but I mean this one is okay I mean it works well it does work but it's just kind of light so yeah I'm just going to do that so do y'all think that is too that's too light or no I mean yeah it's a little bit too light but I mean I guess it'll work I have the a dark brown tinted a dark brown tinted brow gel so that kind of like helps even it out but I still think it's a little bit too light. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Like if I should go get a darker one or no. Now I'm just taking the L'Oreal Brow Style Plumper. I don't even know why it's called that. But it's just a brow gel. And this is in, um, what the heck is the color? Huh. Oh, medium to dark. And yeah, okay, right now on my freaking camera, my eyebrows look super light. I'm just gonna do this. I'm 
going to be using my Lorac Pro Palette. I like I use this palette every day. I just got it and I like I don't know what I've been doing without it because it's just amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm probably just going to do something natural. I don't know. Let's just try something. So I'm just going to take um this light brown in oak the color's taupe. It's just um that one right there. I'm just going to use that as my transition shade and put that in my crease and all that. I absolutely love this brown. It's just a perfect shade. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put this darker color, Sable. I'm going to put that like on my outer V. Wow, I really need to clean my brushes. They're like, I'm probably gonna do that after I film this. Cause they're just bad. Wow, this brush is wet. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna work with it now the other eye I want you to just blend that out with the same brush I used to put the first color oh by the way these are um, Morphe brushes I absolutely love their brushes. They're cheap and they work so good. Majority of my brushes are from Morphe. Or Morph. Morphe, Morph, I don't know. How are you saying? I'm, I'm sorry, y'all probably can't even see what I'm doing. I just like have to like get really close up into the mirror when I'm doing this. So yeah. Now I'm going to put this, um, it says LT Bronze, I don't even know, but it's just like a light gold color. I'm going to put that on my, um, inside of my crease. This is, this is a Coastal Sense brush. It's just like, um, I don't even know, but yeah, it looks like this. I'm going to put that on my lid. Oh, that's a pretty color. I really like that. Then I'm going to go over it with... P I don't even know how to pronounce this. But it's this color right here. This darker brown. I'm just going to go over it very lightly. I don't want it to be too heavy. But just to darken up that gold. Or whatever color that is. Bronze. Wow. Loves it. Now I'm just going to blend. So there's not any harsh lines. I'm going to use um this right here. This um it's Scandal Rimmel Rimmel Scandal waterproof um eyeliner. And it's just in the color nude. So I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Just to make my eyes look seem more awake and like pop. Oh gosh. I love this stuff. I'm just going to use this um, angled brush by Morphe. It's the BK4. And I'm going to do it like where you would contour, but I'm not going to like fully contour. Oh, uh, do y'all hear my brother like shutting the door? And just bring that up on my forehead. And 
my jawline. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to highlight my brow bone. What the heck? I'm just going to use this brush by Morphe. It's MB25. MB25. And I'm just going to take this um, cream color. And just put that under my brow bone. I actually really like my eyes today. Usually I never like 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 my eyeshadow because I'm like still practicing, but like I think it looks really good. Not to toot my own horn, but you know. Um now I'm just going to take some blush and I'm going to use this NYX powdered blush in the color Dusty Rose. I love colors like this. They're just my favorite. I'm not like I don't like the like really pink ones, like y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't know, I like the more like darker pinks. I just feel like they look better on me. But yeah, I don't know, that's just me. Maybe because I haven't really worn like really bright pink, so I'm not like used to them on me. But I don't know. I'm gonna go buy some and try them out. And I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks and bring it back. Okay. Now I'm just gonna highlight and I'm gonna use this um, Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick, but I'm only going to use these top colors up here. Like, I don't know what videos y'all want to see, so just leave some in the comments because I like, I, I'm going to make some videos, but like, I don't know if y'all want to see them or not. Like, do y'all like fashion videos or um, makeup tutorials or tag videos, vlogs, anything? I don't really do anything. How many times do I just say like and like, oh my gosh, I say like way too much. I have a problem. And I do this and say like, don't judge me. It's just a habit. I don't even mean to do it. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and excuse my face when I do this because it gets a little crazy. Wow, why is the sun doing that to me? It goes like in and out. I'm just going to be using the Better Than Sex mascara. I'm actually running out on this. And like towards the end, it gets really clumpy and like, I don't know. But it's great. I, I mean, I do like it, but it's just like getting clumpy. Maybe it's because I just, I don't even know why. Do y'all do that if y'all have it? Let me know. And I'm just going to go in zigzag motions to, um, I don't know. I just feel like it makes him look longer. And I'm only doing the bottom half and then I'm going to do the top half. I saw a video on, um, here on YouTube of a girl doing that and her eyelashes had, like, they made such a big difference just from doing that. I'm just going to take this um, CoverGirl mascara, the Clump Crusher. I don't like this mascara, but I do like it for separating lashes, so that's what I use it for. I feel like y'all are going to get annoyed with me and keep looking over there in my mirror, but I'm sorry. I'm just going to take this um, CoverGirl little single eyeshadow whoa, in the color, what, Fard Accent? Is that what it's called? No. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But, and I'm just going to take this um, Morphe brush, the, what, my fingers did, did, just did something really weird. The M218 brush, and I'm just going to um, put it in my inner corners. Now I'm going to take the Better Than Sex mascara again and put it on my lower lashes because I didn't do that. And I do like really weird faces so don't judge me. Now I'm going to do my lips. They're kind of dry at the moment but I'm still going to do it. 
I'm going to line my lips with the, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX lip pencil, and the color is, um, 860 Peekaboo Neutral. I'm just going to line my lips with that. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take this little mirror right here and do it right here. And this color is very similar to my natural lips. Ow, I'm just going to draw an X shape at the top so that I'll have a perfect little cubic bow thing or whatever you call it. And my lips are quite small. So I like to overdraw them a little, a little bit, not a lot, not like freaking going to look like Chola the Chocha or whatever her name is, or his name, whatever. Y'all know who I'm talking about? It's so funny. Oh no, Chocha the Chola, that's what it is, that's what it is. I just laugh every time um, he posts a video on Instagram. Oh, now I'm taking the um, where the Sweat and Wild. What is the color? It doesn't even say the color on this package. What the heck? But it's like this little. I don't even know. It's like a pinky brownish color. I don't even know if I'm gonna like this color or not. What do y'all think? I don't know if it goes good with this eye look or not. I might go on top of it and put um, Bare It All by Wet n Wild to just like darken it up a little bit because I feel like this is too pink. So now I'm just going to go back in and curl my eyelashes. Because I like them to be like, bam, in your face. But I don't like wearing false lashes. So i got to work with what you got. But this is a finished look. If y'all liked this look, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Wow, don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos and leave the videos I'd like to see in the comments. So I'll be sure to do those. <laughs>